when nine months later we come back to shoot the series and it's like, oh right, we didn't design this thing to move, yeah. you know? Yeah. They designed it to stand up really well straight. I feel like your two characters are kind of the, the heart of the show and really grounds us in reality. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what attracted you to the show? And specifically, I feel like Dot, who is like really critical, like mm -hmm. how do you see her and where does she fit in the world for you? Um, well, Dot, Dot fits in the world sort of, uh, it, it's, it, there's a little tension with how she fits into the world yeah. um, because as you say, she really does hold down the human element and she's this sort of constant reminder of the human stakes of these grand adventures that other people are going on. Um, but uh, also it's the fact that her journey isn't, it's not the hero's journey. It's, um, it's a sort of deeper, more psychological one. It's more about her identity because she has, out of necessity, had to base her identity and her, her life on her brother because when they both lost their father um, and he you know, fell apart and became ill, she was the one who had to step up and essentially become like the parental figure and his caretaker. And um, everything else in her life, her grief, her ambitions, everything else have always been put on the back burner and you know, maybe there was an incentive in doing that so she didn't have to deal with it. Sure. Um, but when she's faced with the possibility that he doesn't need her anymore, or that maybe he was never really sick to begin with, she has to then examine what her life is about and what she does want to engage with. Um, and so it's a struggle. It's a struggle for Dot. Um, but it's a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Arthur's kind of the bridge between these two worlds, you know? I mean, yeah. he's somewhere between the tick, who is the most stereotypically super heroic person in the world, and Dot, who is such a grounded character, not just in how she's written, but especially in how Valerie plays it. And Arthur's trying to find his place in this world that's never really had a place for him, that's constantly tried to push him or pull him into a different direction, and he's never had an easy fit. And that's what's fun as an actor is getting to play all these different zones, all these different environments. This character changes so much based on who he's talking to and what circumstances he's in. And sometimes it's high drama and sometimes it's real low comedy and sometimes it's action sequences, you know? So you get to do everything, which is an embarrassment of riches. Yeah, speaking of fit though, uh, how's, how's the costume? How you doing? <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. I'll tell you, you know, on the pilot, I don't put the costume on until the very last scene. So right. they essentially designed this beautiful costume for one shot where I stand in the mirror heroically and, and you know, take in my own visage. And then, uh, you know, nine months later, we come back to shoot the series and it's like, oh, right, we didn't design this thing to move, yeah. you know? Yeah. They designed it to stand up really well straight. So it's like constantly like doing exercise because the thing wants to snap back into this position. Um, but it's fun because, you know, the whole thing with Arthur is he's a very unconventional superhero. The costume wasn't designed to him. If, to his body, it was given to him by the tick. And so I'm never supposed to be very comfortable wearing this thing, which is great because yeah. I get to play the comedy of that rather than if I had to look cool while wearing it, you know, I, I don't know if I could uh, struggle with it physically and look elegant. But uh, thankfully, that's not what they asked me to do. Lucky. Um, you know, I was thinking about this a lot because Dot is not necessarily in a superhero position, but like between all the superhero world being out there and Glow getting so big on Netflix, I was wondering if you were going to be able to have a costume, whether you were going to be a superhero or a villain or a wrestler. Yeah, or a wrestler. Um, well, I mean, they're the real. I don't they're know the how many you've seen, but real. Dot it's has real. a sport of her own, and it's pretty fantastic. Um, uh, the thing I say about her is she really is the most likely superhero. She just doesn't have the suit. She's got her EMT uniform. Um, but I don't know. She's she's the one who's stitching people together and saving lives, and I, she definitely doesn't sleep. She has more of a secret identity than anyone. Um, but uh, it's almost like she doesn't need the suit. So we'll see. I'm rooting for it as a fan, though. Yeah. Like, as a fan I mean, of the I'm show. I'm not, like, against it. Yeah. Let's be real. I love Dot's character. I'd love to see Dot suit up and join us in battle. That's yes. what you say. Right. You know, Cozy. my pants Pajamas? have a lot of pockets, though. <laughs> Get They're really close sensible. to the costume people. Yep. That's what I would say. That's Just always so key. Yeah. Close.